Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the quadrangular space and quadrangular space syndrome. So this model is showing all the muscles of the shoulder region and the quadrangular space lies deep to the deltoid muscle. So we will remove the deltoid and some other muscles so that the quadrangular space can be seen clearly. So let's remove these muscles. So now we have removed the O-line muscles and now you can see the quadrangular space which is this intermuscular space located immediately below the glenohumeral or shoulder joint. So if we talk about the boundaries of this intermuscular space, so it is bounded superiorly by the teres minor and subscapularis muscles and the capsule of the shoulder joint, while inferiorly it is bounded by the teres major muscle. And if we talk about the medial and lateral boundaries of this intermuscular space, so medially it is bounded by the long head of the triceps brachii muscle, while laterally it is bounded by the surgical neck of the humerus bone. So you would be thinking that why it is important to discuss this intermuscular space. So the quadrangular space is important because several major structures emerge through this intermuscular space to reach their terminal destinations. And those important structures are the axillary nerve, the posterior circumflex humeral artery and the posterior circumflex humeral vein. So the axillary nerve and the posterior circumflex humeral vessels emerge through the quadrangular space to reach their terminal destinations in the shoulder and upper arm, where they provide innervation and blood supply to different structures in these regions. So now we have learned the quadrangular space and the structures which pass through this intermuscular space. So now it's easy for us to understand the second part of our tutorial, which is the quadrangular space syndrome. So the quadrangular space syndrome is simply the compression of the structures which pass through the quadrangular space, which means the compression of the posterior circumflex humeral vessels and or the axillary nerve within the quadrangular space is called the quadrangular space syndrome. So the compression of these structures within the quadrangular space leads to symptoms like pain and paresthesias. This compression may also cause weakness of the deltoid and teres minor muscles because as you know these muscles receive their nerve supply from the axillary nerve. So if you talk about the factors that cause the quadrangular space syndrome, so this syndrome is usually caused by different medical conditions like trauma, fractures, dislocation, tumors or hematoma. Furthermore, this syndrome may also be due to certain sports which require overhead activity such as throwers. So finally, if we talk about the treatment options available for the treatment of the quadrangular space syndrome, so there are several medical and surgical treatments available for the treatment of the quadrangular space syndrome which are physical therapy, corticosteroids injections and surgical decompression. So this was all about the quadrangular space and the quadrangular space syndrome. So if you have any confusion in what we studied, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much.